Now, I've only been talking about one. I said there were two things. Did I say two? I've only been talking about Hawk. What's the other one? Do you know? It's called the balance. Al-Mizan means a balance between two things. Hak on one side, but a lot of times we don't hear about the other side. What's the other side? Limits. There are limits. Everything that has rights has limits. The only one with no limit to it is la ilaha illallah. This one, there's no limit. Everything else has limits. Because your parents have rights. Hmm? Read Surah to Luqman, chapter 31, and see what Luqman tells his son. What he tells his son? La ilaha illallah, only worship Allah, don't make any partners with Allah. Hmm? Then it says about obeying your parents in everything, illa except, except if they tell you to worship other than Allah. Right? So that's a limit, right? You see it? And so after Allah and His Messenger, that's when the limits come. Everything has limits after that. You have rights, but you have limits. Your wife has rights, but she has limits. If you read in Surah An-Nisa as an example, that's the chapter about women. In verse 34, it starts out, Regulin, which means men or males, have the responsibility to provide for the women on Nisa. All of the men have the responsibility to take care of all of the women. We have to care for our daughters, our sisters, our wives, and our mothers. We have to. It's not optional. So at the same time, though, she also has limits. Look what the rest of the surah says, that the men are responsible to provide for them and be, give security for them. And because they do this, the women have to be obedient. That's what Allah said. And the meaning from the tafsir that I read, it says they have to be obedient to Allah and then to their husbands. Why? Because how could they obey their husband if he told them to do something not in Islam, right? So this also answers the question right away, because some people have asked us, how come a Muslim woman cannot marry a Christian man or a Jewish man? Well, because she has to obey her husband, right? What's going to happen? He's going to say, don't pray, don't fast, don't pay zakat, don't do hajj, and don't raise the children as Muslims. And if he said that, this is against Islam. She would have a horrible life, or the children would go out of Islam, and it would be a big problem, right? So we understand. And Allah said, believers marry believers. Believers marry who? Believers. believers. Even when Allah gives permission for the men to marry from the Ahl Kitab, he has limits. Mm -hmm. Limits. He didn't say, oh, anybody who wears a cross, you can get married to them. He didn't say that. He didn't say, anybody who said, I'm a Christian, you can marry them. He didn't say that. He said, from the Ahl Kitab, they have to be believers. This has condition. And number two, they have to be a virgin. <laughs> In Australia? <laughs> <laughs> okay, forget about it. <laughs> Alhamdulillah.